no! Oh no, they broke free! Damn it! Oh no, get back in there! Shit! No! 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 Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kermit, and welcome back to my Adventures on the Cube, episode 30 freaking 8, guys. This is our, like, ninth episode in a row or some crap like that. I don't even know, man. I am... I'm just going hard on the cube! Yeah! Yeah, oh, get out of here. Oh no, no, I can short it off! Oh no, no, I don't want you guys to see that yet. I gotta talk about it first. So, last episode, we, uh, we raided our own sea temple, and we checked out Grazer's, uh, Guardian Farm, and... Ooh, fish. Dang it, I didn't get the fish. In, a, in a hopes of kind of checking it out and getting an idea of what we wanted to do for our own guardian farm. But after checking out Grace's guardian farm and after talking with him a little bit, we came to the conclusion that his sucked. His, his was absolutely terrible. He had nothing to want to do with it at that, at that point. Um, he was done with the project. And so I was saying, yo man, as long as you give me all the rare fish drops, I will happily fix this farm for you. And uh, get it working again, and we can be teammates. Yeah, teammate guardian farmers. Mm, yeah, mm. Grazer and the frog. Yeah, yeah. So, I spent hours upon hours last night working my booty off. I had nothing else to do. I don't know why. My sleep schedule has been messed up. I haven't been able to go to bed until like 3 in the morning. And uh, basically all throughout the night, I worked out this, uh, this entire sea temple farm. I had to place so many sponges, dry out so many sponges, mine so many freaking blocks. Holy crap, there have been very, very few projects that I've embarked on that uh, that have required me to work that hard and put in that amount of time. So, I don't ask this often, but it would mean a lot to me if we could get to a thousand likes on this video. If, if we can get past that, that would be awesome as well. I don't ask you guys to like my videos because, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I do know why, but I'm not going to tell you guys. But anyway, we're going to check out this freaking Sea Guardian farm. It's awesome. I'm so tired. I'm so happy. Let's check this out. Get away from me, zombie. Get away from me. So, my idea, or Grace's idea with the Guardian farm, was to kind of create a nice little room down there and have all of the, uh, the Guardians that just naturally spawned in the temple fall down into his little chamber and get killed by Iron Golems. But after a while, Grazer realized that his Iron Golems would just kind of die off and be a pain in the booty. And he, uh, he kind of trashed his farm, tried to change it up a little bit, and then gave up. And at that point, the frog came in to rescue said guardian farm. So this is the work I have done. I have placed down this entire wall. It's 16 by 16, all the way down to where it meets the, uh, meets the temple. You guys can't really see that. Let me get out of here. Get out! No, don't hurt me! I know I'm farming all your cousins, but dude, that's not nice. Okay, so, with that wall being up... I had to take out all of the water, which actually taking out the water wasn't too hard. Um, putting the water back in, that was actually a lot more difficult. A lot more difficult. I think that's correct. Yeah. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. A lot harder than I thought it would be. There we go. And, uh, pain in the booty, man. But taking out the water was easy. Once I had taken out the water, I had to mine out all of the blocks all the way down to, uh, to where the Sea Temple no longer exists, all the way down to Smooth Stone. And so that's what I did, and then I placed all the signs down there. Oh, that was a pain in the booty, too. There's two, la two layers of signs. There's two layers of, like, spawning points. Actually, we can kind of hop down, and I got my under pearls. I think I should be all right. So this is the first little spawn room, spawn area, and then this is the second one. And basically, they will uh, spawn in here. And the guardians naturally sink whenever they stop swimming. And so they'll move around for a little bit, and then they'll stop moving, and then they'll kind of sink down. So eventually, they all kind of funnel down through here. And then let me just go down a little bit more. And then they'll fall in here. Bloop! And they'll fall down in these little watery areas. And then, you can kind of see where they're collecting down here. They will fall down a little bit more. And we can actually just kind of teleport in there. Yeah, so this is where Grazer's original farm was. Um... I think he made some modifications on it the last time you guys saw it on his channel. He tried a different idea, then he gave up. But this is what I have come up with 
So I basically had to build an entirely new farm. I used very, very little amount of, uh, of the work Grazer put in. I, I Honestly, I should have done this on my own farm, on my own uh, temple. But they come down here. It's not done yet. I will, I'm going to finish it sometime soon. Maybe never, because I'm really done with this. I'm, oh my god, I've had to deal with water. Water's annoying and stupid. But they are collecting down here. I've got to make like some sort of crushing system or somewhere to lower down their health. It might be by fall, and then we can go down there and punch them with our swords, with our looting three swords or something like that, and get all their goodies. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm going to put in the clip with Grazer now, and then we'll pop back in and... I will talk a little bit more about this farm, and then we will move on with our lives. Finally. Please, God, let me be done with this. Okay, so, incoming Grazer. <clears throat> Alrighty, Mr. Grazer MC, my hard work has finally paid off. I have been slaving away all night at this stupid guardian farm. I don't even know what you decided to go with to, like, to begin with <laughs> so what wait hold on hold on let's let's go back to even further than that so i forgot to explain to my viewers uh so last episode i made a guardian farm and oh. the guardian farm was themed after iron golems killing the guardians and the iron golems i came on that night and they were they were all dead and i was <laughs> not trying to fill up iron golems every single time and plus it was even much harder then because once all the iron golems died they start flooding in with guardian fish. It was almost impossible to refill them without dying. So I was like, I can't do this anymore. I never want to do this farm again. <laughs> I'm a failure. My iron golems suck. So I got Kermit here, and Kermit was like, you know what, Grazer, I can turn your farm into something else, something that'll be better and more efficient. And I was like, go for it, dude. If you can manage to do it, I'll let you. I'll <laughs> let you take like whatever you want from the drop. So this was the drop. These were the drops that were generated before we made the farm switch. This did, is all wait, did you actually? Did you get the puffer fish from? A guardian? Yeah, there was. It's a rare drop from guardian. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. I was making sure because that's what I'm after. I'm after the rare fish. I want the puffer fish, the clown fish, and the salmon. Yeah, I was surprised when I saw the puffer fish there because I didn't think they dropped it. I haven't looked it up yet. Maybe it's not. I have no idea where it came from. In that case. No, um, it, no, it, it 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 is a rare drop from the guardian. But I was afraid that it maybe wasn't rare. implemented yet, I or I guess it's it's just super duper rare. Look, you got four stacks of fish and one puffer fish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And okay. I mean, look how many shards and stuff oh, yeah, crystals yeah, yeah. that we generated here. Like, that that farm was good, but it wasn't good for long-term effects. So we'll take this. So what did you end up doing here? Okay, so, originally, I was going to improve your farm. But uh, after, after kind of looking around at it and looking around at the Sea Temple, I decided to kind of just make an entirely new one. Okay. And so I kind of slaved away all night doing... Just a lot of water removal and block removal so I can get this big old chamber here. Look, you hear that? Oh, I see guardian fish. You hear that? That's the sound of success, him. Mr. Grazer. Oh, look at all these. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so many guardian fish. Yeah, and I've probably been standing here for about 10 or 15 minutes before we started recording, and that's how many we got. But and, uh, we have to manually kill them? What's yeah, the so, so it's not done yet. Um, I okay, still have right. to set up like a hopper and some sort of kill killing mechanism. Um, it's either going to be killing them by crush or by fall. Yeah, no, I hold on. What level are we at here? Uh, you're not going to be able to do it by fall. Are you sure? I tested it myself because I was looking into that, and I think that they they have a lot of health points. They have like oh, 15 damn. hearts. Until so, I do, they have to fall super far. Yeah, they have to fall 34 blocks, and we're at level 33, and they're even lower than us by a few blocks. So oh, well, I can, I can probably that. move up this collection center up a little bit. I think we can make it work. Uh, but even if you do that, like, remember, you can only go down to, like, level 4 before you reach absolute bedrock, and you can't work with anything, uh -huh. so uh -huh. keep that in mind, too. It's very hard. Yeah. I, I looked into it myself. But yeah, yeah. A crusher could work, too, but, like, holy smokes, this is... So, show you around the farm a bit. Like, okay, so, we are going to swim up top. We're not swimming up top. Oh, we got by a the way, before, I, before you even show them, I tried to make some renovations myself, so what I was doing was I was having every... Like, it was the same farm as before. I was having them all funnel down, like, that's why the blocks are shaped like this. I was having a water flow them all down, and then I was trying to make it so that they can fall. But they weren't dying and it was ticking me off and I couldn't <laughs> figure out how to do it. So then I actually, I copied like the XP grinder thing, the zombie XP grinder, and had them flow up. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't flow up. 
they don't do that. So oh, they I don't? Like, oh. oh, yeah, because they swim around. They, they actually sink. Yeah, because that's yeah, how this these works. Yeah, these guys are very hard to work with. Oh, uh, that's that'd be annoying. But, yeah, okay, so let's, uh, let's run up top and show you uh, right, where do we, oh, okay, where we my hard labor at work. All right, let's see what you've done, Kermit. Got this little ladder Ooh. up here. So I think... It's, it's not that this was difficult, it's not that this required a lot of brain power, it just required a lot of willpower and a lot of dedication and a lot of time. Oh, but, I can't uh, wait to see this. But thankfully, I was super bored last night, and I had hours to kill. You set up a haste beacon. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, the first thing I had Holy to do... Holy smokes! The wait, first... what, is this, what is this block around? Is this circling like the... Yo, man, let me explain, block? bro. Alright, alright. Okay, so the first thing I had to do was border off the center of this thing and dry it all out. So I had to place okay. all this water back in here after I dried it all out, mined all the sea tumble blocks down to the ground down there, and uh, placed down all these uh, fenced gates. And then I had to put all the water back in, and uh, dealing with the water was probably the most annoying and hardest part it out of is, all this. It is, it is. Trust but me, you I wanna, see you have sponges here. <laughs> you you want to know what the most annoying part about this all? I'm not even done yet, dude. The easy part's over. Oh, okay. What's the most annoying part? The next part about this farm is optimizing it, which uh, requires me to remove all of this water out here. <laughs> if I remove all of this water, the uh, the spawn rate will just absolutely go through the roof. I don't know if I'm gonna remove all of it, but I might remove some of it. Dude, that's gonna be impossible. Yeah, I figured. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I was thinking about it, and I think if I uh, chamber off all the water like this, it's not too difficult. I can definitely uh, soak it up with some sponges like I have over here. Oh, good luck, dude. That's going to be really <laughs> I mean, you. yeah, I can see that there's some that's spawning under there. Yeah. Why'd you put pumpkins? What is that for? I don't know. I like it. It looks nice. The lights or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the light looks, up the Looks good. Good all right, so I have a question. I have, yeah. I have a question. What's going uh, on? You mined out all these blocks. Where did you keep all the sea blocks? Um, well, with the sea temple, so it got to the point where I did collect most of the blocks, and once my inventory got full, I didn't really want to have to climb all the way back up and drop them all off, and so okay. I kind of just let most of them sit there and despawn, because I didn't really have a huge need for them. I did put some in your chest down in the collection room. I filled oh, that up for you. Because I did see another chest in there, and I want to go check that out. Okay, yeah, because okay. I, I got some I got some sea lanterns for you, and I filled up your chest, and then I gave up on collecting the blocks, because it was just kind of a pain in the booty. Oh, let me see how much stuff is in here. I can't wait to see this. Should Holy be, should, smokes! Yeah, that's should a be, lot of blocks. Should be a good amount that's for you. That's a lot of sea lanterns. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see, Kermit. That's what I like to see, it Should dude. be a good amount. Here's a portion of the blocks. Okay, that's awesome. All right, thanks, Kermit. Okay, um, wait. We got we got to talk business, man. Okay, business now. Yeah. Okay, so you've renovated the whole farm. I had the initial idea of it. What are you thinking? And this and this is your seed temple. I don't know why I didn't do this on my own. Because <laughs> <laughs> mine was already kind of set up, I guess. I yeah, know. I guess. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of is a long right. shot. But. Yeah. Hmm. All I really want out of this are the rare fish drops. Really? So I can take like all the shards and everything? That's that's what I want. Yeah, just about like I don't have a shop to sell those blocks at. Alright, sweet. That sounds good. Yeah, we can do that. You so can as long as you're happy with me taking all the fish and maybe having a couple sea lanterns whenever I want for yeah, if I ever fine. need we can to work use together them. On this. We can just take whatever we want. Yeah, that works. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's I'm happy. I'm a happy frog. Uh, Glad to see we've cooked up a deal here, and I wish you luck for the future of this farm. Yeah, Because uh, I yeah. know it's not done yet. It's going to take a while to clear out all that water. Good yeah, luck. I don't, and, uh, I'll probably do it just over lots and lots of time whenever I get super bored. It'll be a yeah. nice little project I can have going on for a while. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. It's okay. going to be a lot, a lot of time clearing out that water, though. Well, oh, I forgot to mention, I put the nether portal in the collection room now, which is something I didn't mention in the last video. Alright, thanks, Kermit. Yep, I'm gonna go do something that is far, far away from water now. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> Alright, see you later, man. Oh no! Oh no, they broke free! Damn it! Oh no, get back in there! Shit! No! 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 Shit, guys, this is like the third time I've been at my base. I cannot get my shit back without dying. Fuck, dude, I got a nice pick, my bow. <gasps> uh, uh. Alright, attempt number four. I got some enderpearls this time. Let me eat up and heal. 
Without armor, these guys take me out super fast. So, I'm going to have to run down there, grab some armor, and teleport back here so that the lasers don't hit me, because it takes some time for the lasers to charge up. Get some armor. Woo! Go, frog, go! Go, 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 go back! Yeah! Oh, yeah! I got some shoes! Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I see a shovel. Okay, we're gonna go up to the shovel real quick. Do I have any other food? No, I don't. Okay. Ready, guys? Are you ready? See all my armor? Oh no, all my armor and stuff is like down here in this corner. Ooh, actually. Yeah, let me get the shovel. Go, shovel, go! Go, shovel! Oh, my pickaxe! And my bow! Ah! <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I got my pickaxe and stuff, my shovel. Let me, uh, let me try to dig down here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, I got a plan. I got a plan. We're gonna run in. And get my armor. Where's my armor? Oh, it's in that hole. Oh, my sword. Oh, my armor. Go. Woo! 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 Let's see what else. I'm missing my chest plate, man. Oh, I see it. Get it. Get it. Go. 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 Woo! Woo oh, get out of here, you douche. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's just block that up. Okay. Woo. Woo! Okay. I think I'm still missing my bow. Which I'm pretty sure is back over there. Let me get out of here. Oh my, oh my lord, dude, give up! I got you beat now! Where's my bow at? Oh no, I don't see it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my bow! Oh, I see it! I see it! It's over there! I think this is the last thing I need, and then I'll be happy. I'll have all my tools back. My armor. Go! Get it! Go! Yes! Yes! We did it! Survival! Yeah! Mm. Douchebags. You can't tame this! What's up? You got nothing, motherfuckers. Oh, I missed my arrows. Dang it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think we are going to check that off on our list of things to do. Um, of course, there are still improvements that need to be made. And let me go up here, I'll talk about optimizing the farm a little bit more. So, this farm, the, the innards are done. The actual farm is complete, but, damn it. There is still work that could be done. Ow, dude. Um, one thing that I could do, and I mentioned in my Crippled Grazer, is remove all this water. And I don't think I'm going to remove all of it. Maybe over time, you never know. I could just... Go freaking hard. But what I'm probably going to do is make more chambers like this since uh, this seems pretty effective. If I cut off all the water like this, soaking them up with the sponges is a lot easier and it doesn't, like, the water doesn't re-heal itself. I, th I think that's the best term for it. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to do that a couple more times because I want to improve the spawn rate of the fish in here. And I can do that by one. Removing all the other spawn places, removing all the other places that could spawn, such as this little area out here, and uh, lighting up all the caves down below. And I've already actually lit up all the caves. It was one of the first things I did when I wanted to get this farm going. And uh, we're probably going to go head down into those now, because while I lit up all the caves, I refrained from mining all of it, because I wanted to do that on screen. And, um, yeah, so we're going to head on down there. And show you guys all the goodies. There's like a bunch of diamond and a bunch of gold. And I'm excited. I think I dug down a hole at each little corner. Because like, okay, so this uh, this stone pathway on the outside marks... Ah, fuck! Oh, man! Oh, I almost died again. Woo! Woo! Um, this, uh, the cobblestone on the outer rim you see here marks the border of the sea temple. And I dug down on each of the corners and placed all the torches I could and all the caves I found. And there's lots of goodies, so we're going to head on down there and go mining, because I didn't bring my pickaxe last time. I got it now. So we're going to go hard.
Be right back. All right, so the best way to uh, to avoid these these guardian beams is to just always be breaking the uh, their aim, basically. Because like I can swim around this, and every time a guardian locks onto me, let's see if I can get one to lock onto me. Hmm. Come on, man, be angry, be angry. Dang it. Well, if you just keep swimming around that, oh yeah, yeah, be angry. Look, see if I just swim around this. I will not get hurt, which is quite handy dandy. Okay, but ah, I gotta dig down. Okay, there you go. Oh, 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 where's my sign at? Okay, so I think this is the uh, the right one. Let me just dig all the way back down. Come on, where's my freaking cave? I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, there's one more pillar I have to dig down. I've already checked the other two. Damn it. I thought I hit two two different caves. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just one big cave. Poop. Okay, well, I will be right back once I've got the right hole. Which I think should be over there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yep, yep. Here it is. Here it is. Here's the cave. Here we go. I'm just gonna head on down here. So yeah, I already did place all the torches around here. But uh, one thing that I did not mind because I want to do it on screen. I don't feel comfortable mining off of screen because I don't like I don't know I, I don't want to be accused of just oh my god look at all these diamonds I just magically found wow you guys didn't watch me get it for yeah I don't know that makes me uncomfortable so to avoid that I try to do all the mining I can on screen and thankfully I still have my haste beacon set up so this should go quite nicely quite nicely indeed yes hmm, hmm. I think I'm just gonna speed through this all because I don't know, I'm not really great at commentating while I'm mining. I don't know why, I'm just not a skill that I have at the moment. Not a skill that I have. Hmm. So I'm gonna speed this up. I'll probably slow it down if I find like a bunch of gold and diamonds, which I know down here because I've lit up all the to or all the caves. And uh, I will show you guys basically all the real goodies. Just the real good batch of the goodies um, when we get there. But other than that, I'm gonna basically mine everything because I don't, yeah, this is the only chance I really get to go mining in a fresh cave. I'm not really away from spawn that often, so I'm going to take full advantage of all of this. And I will see you guys soon. Yeah. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, so, this is, this is what I was talking about when we, uh, when we get to the good stuff. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 blocks of gold, maybe we'll get this coal in a minute, some lapis, and look over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks of diamonds, and I think, uh, if I remember correctly, ooh, here we go, so 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26, 26, I am counting wrong, um, we'll get that redstone later. There's another diamond I saw around here somewhere before. I know I ran into like two. Oh, look! 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Holy freaking crap. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's that other diamond? Where'd you go? Oh my god! I didn't even remember there being this much gold. Holy crap! Okay. There's something around here. I hear the lava. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay, is there anything around? There you go. You always got to dig around. You just got to dig around. Nice. Freaking sweet. Okay, we got nine diamonds and 37 gold ore, not to mention the countless amount of redstone and iron and coal we're going to keep on pulling out of here. Hell freaking yeah. Okay, I will see you guys back at my base once I'm done with all this. And we will wrap up the episode there. Hell yeah. Okay, see you guys soon. Uh, home sweet home at long last. Oh, look, a saddle. Oh, I don't know where to go. Hey, I got a saddle. What do you know? Nifty. All right, well, this is the, uh, the, total, um, the total loot that we got from the cave. We got stacks on stacks on stacks of coal. 42 gold, 9 diamonds, 35 iron, oh, <laughs> stacks of iron, 
Um, some redstone, some lapis. We are doing pretty good with our uh, with our coal supply and our iron supply now. I'm very happy with myself. And we got a bunch of gold. Uh, that's awesome. That's great. Alrighty, well, hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you guys could leave a little extra support on this video, it would be so freaking awesome. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, next episode, we're going to be taking a break from the water temple and focusing on some other stuff because my brain hurts. <laughs> It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. I'm so done with the water temple. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go fishing. I need. To, I just need to relax a little bit. I mean, this is this is nice and soothing. I really, really enjoy the animation for this. Look, you can actually watch the fish, like swim up and take the bait. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, fishy. Take it. Take it. No, oh, you wanna. Oh, no, you wanna. Sometimes it takes a while. It's all about, this is all about patience, guys. Oh, there you go. Look at it go. Look. Wah! Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm freaking done!